A common myth in the movies is that people that work on computers are solitary creatures, hunched over their computers in places without natural light, and subsisting on a diet of energy drinks and Pop-Tarts. This is hardly a realistic portrayal of what development is like. Not only do most developers enjoy sunlight and balanced diets, but they also primarily work in teams. Although the exact responsibilities of different roles might vary by company, the general idea remains close to the same. There are many roles within these teams, and we don't have time to examine all of them, so let's just focus on one, the project manager. Their role in the team is a broad one. A project manager is responsible for much of the day-to-day -day management of the development project, with some of their primary goals being to keep a project on time and on budget. A project manager will have a list of tasks required to complete the project, as well as the money and personnel resources available to complete those tasks. Much like doing a puzzle, he or she will then work to fit the right resources into the right holes. Anyone who is a puzzler will have definite opinions on how best to complete a jigsaw puzzle. Is it more important to separate the pieces first, or to dive right into fitting them together? Should the edges be completed first, or the middle? In the same way, a project manager is responsible for deciding the best way to complete the project puzzle. He or she must choose whether completing the sign-in page or the home page is more important. Perhaps the payroll module on a project matters more than the inventory one, but that might be different on another project. The project manager must make all of these decisions in order to enable the client to get the most value in the shortest amount of time. These decisions are usually made in partnership with the product owner. With a high focus on incorporating client requested changes in Agile, a project manager is often the one to create the updated requirements and tasks needed to achieve the client's new goals. He or she must also determine the wisdom and limitations involved in adding or deleting tasks. One important aspect of their job is the creation of a project plan and then the tracking of those goals to determine if the project is progressing on time and on budget. The project manager must learn to balance the client's needs and wants with the money and time allotted to make certain that altered goals do not end up eating up so many resources that the project can't be completed at all. Think of it a bit like a video game with a couple of rules. The main quest is to take over a castle. The player is provided with a certain number of hours of play to complete the task. If the castle is not conquered in this time frame, it is game over. Three friends decide to play the game together. They each select a character and are presented with their character's strengths and weaknesses. Player 1 loves to meander through the game and go on side quests. Player 2 just wants to push on toward the castle and ignore all else. Player 3 is determined to balance the two extremes. As they progress through the levels, the friends are presented with opportunities to complete side quests. The tasks won't exactly get them any closer to the castle, but they might make their characters stronger or provide better weaponry or other benefits. Player 1 is desperate to have her character buy an in-game house. To do this, she will need to spend time earning in-game money to complete the purchase. Maybe she wants to level up her character to make the castle conquering easier. Both of these might be great uses of time and give her great enjoyment. The danger is that Player 1 will spend so much time in all the side quests that she never manages to conquer the castle and win the game. Player 2 wants to skip strengthening his character and just push on to the castle. By ignoring all the potential opportunities to make allies or level up his character, he might make it to the castle on time, but will he be able to conquer it? Player 3 goes through the game trying to learn from the mistakes of both his friends. He completes side tasks that will help him accomplish his ultimate goal, but he ignores side quests that will just distract him from the end game. Now imagine that all three friends have only one character to control. This is similar to how it is with software development. The project manager is like player 3, who tries to balance the client's wish to explore multiple changes and alterations to the plan with the project's need to continue moving toward completion. The project manager will balance both so that the application pivots and changes to be the best possible application without ignoring the need to stay on time and on budget. A project manager needs to be a good communicator, both with his team and with the client. His skills will also include the gift of mediation and a high degree of organization in order to ensure that no parts of the project are missed. 
Although developers and quality assurance engineers might get the glory for creating high quality programming, the role of project manager is also a highly important one. Swan Software Solutions has a large team with a variety of roles. We value all our team members as each contribution allows us to produce high quality software. To find out more about how we can help your company with a custom application, contact us at swansoftwaresolutions.com.